What is up and welcome back to the channel guys. I got a story for you. This TikTok was sent to me and let me just play this video for you guys really quick and let's go. How am I just finding out now that there's gonna be an Olympics next year where the athletes are allowed to take performance enhancing drugs? It's called the Enhanced Games and while it's got nothing to do with the Olympics organization, in fact, I don't think they like this idea at all. They promise to have all of the same events, including freaking combat sports, while the athletes can pump juice and dope however they see fit. The founder, Aaron D'Souza, says that they want to break every world record there is and claim that these games will fundamentally change the trajectory of not just sports, but humanity as a whole. However, not everyone's on board with the idea. The head of the U.S. anti-doping agency not. called it a dangerous clown show. Two-time Olympic champion Kieran Perkins said it was borderline criminal and that someone would die if it was allowed to go ahead. Maybe in the javelin, homeboys juiced up and threw the javelin so damn far, hit somebody in the crowd. Now in response to the criticism, the games actually believe that sport could be safer without drug testing, saying that because athletes would be able to openly seek performance enhancing drugs, they wouldn't have to buy them from shady illicit sources, and that medical advice and monitoring will be on hand at all times to pick up any danger signs in the athlete systems. But that's not even the part that I found that's the most cool. interesting. Because they also claim that most Olympians don't get paid a salary and are driven into debt. I I started driving for DoorDash. I worked at Panera, a bank. The financial strain is huge. Highlighting that the tennis players who lose the first round of Wimbledon take home double the amount of prize money that a gold medal winning US Olympian would receive. They say that any athlete who decides to compete in the enhanced games will receive a base salary and compete for prize winnings which will be larger than any other comparable event in history. So the question is, is this a dangerous idea that undermines all other sports or a genius idea that destroys disrupts a system that needs to be changed. So I'll give you my honest, honest opinion on this. This stuff's kind of already been happening behind closed doors. So now we can actually see it out in front. We don't have to like wonder, hey, how fast can the fastest person really run? Like, let's be serious. If Usain Bolt has a twin and his twin decides to take steroids, he would crush the record. And I think it's cool to see how far the evolution of athletics can actually go when it comes to Olympic sports every single sport will be enhanced. Now, I had to go and check this thing out. I'm like, wait a minute, man. Is there actually a thing called the enhanced game? So I went on and was like, enhanced games. We're looking for 10 athletes to be paid stars in our documentary series produced by Ridley Scott associated with Rob Morebetter Productions. Could you be the face of our historic evolution of sports? There's a documentary, there's a casting call list here. This landmarks multi-part series built specifically for streaming platforms. Whether you are natural or enhanced, anyone eight, um, age 18 and over can apply. Your application will be stronger if you post multiple videos on social media explaining why you should be picked, have a compelling personal story, possess excellent communication skills, are an ex um, experienced athlete, have an established social media following, and have a hunger to beat world records. Now, what I don't like about that is a couple of those things, because look at this. If we are only going by, you know, having a strong, already established social media following, meaning established, meaning like, what's that gonna be? Is that gonna be, do you have to have 50,000? Anyone under 50,000 that could be good, or 10,000? Or does it mean a million? So they're basically gonna kind of cherry pick those who have the best social media following. But like, if you wanna make this thing what it is, why don't you look for the people who have the best actual track record in terms of their athletics? So like, yo, this dude's in college and he's running, I don't know, he's a state champion, whatever you want to call it, and his following isn't that good, but he's got a great story. I'm going to go pick up the dude or the woman who could run super fast, jump, whatever, already. That's who I'm going to try and pick. So I don't like this process when it comes to the journey of following whoever because they're just going to find, they're going to pick characters. When you get in front of a camera, things, you start showing off a bit. So that's the thing, I'm not too crazy about that documentary part, but let's just actually go to the actual sport itself. So if you go over here, it says our plan. You go to this tab here, it says safer sports. Let's be clear, drug testing is about fairness, not safety. The Enhanced Games aim to be the safest sport event in the world. At the Enhanced Games, we prioritize athletes' safety. In partnership with top scientists and clinicians, we are developing a full system medical pre-competition screening protocol. 
to protect athletes competing in the enhanced games. So they're basically going to do some testing to make sure the athletes are actually healthy before they do any type of enhancements. And I'm wondering if they're going to actually help with those enhancements. But here's your health screening. It's cardiac health, system health test, genomic sequencing, and then brain health. I get it. I mean, it's good that they're doing that because they're basically like, they're basically like making sure that they're covering their, you know, covering their asses. All you need is for someone to go and do, let's say, I don't know, they're in the combat sport part and they get hit and they die. Guess what? That's the end of the enhanced game. So they got to cover their asses, right? Because it comes to like, you know, the Olympics, you run, pull your hamstring. Uh, hey, you signed it. But sorry about that. You do pole vault, but boom, you impale yourself. Uh, it's like, you know what I mean? But you, you put in enhancements right and i don't even know how you would even sanction that obviously when it comes to this it looks like more of a production plus you know athletics now when it comes to pay the athletes now, this is gonna be something that's that's this is what's gonna lure everybody in and it makes sense if you want to challenge the olympics or you just want people to come in you can't just be like hey guys want to take some steroids and run really fast it's like no hey how about you get to be enhanced and we're gonna pay you some money so pay the athletes. Enhanced athletes will be fairly paid. Prize money, winners, what? Shut up. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm reading really like, what are you talking about? So they have a comparison here. The gold for the Wimbledon is 2.4 mil. US Olympi Olympians, 37,000. Silver, 1.3 mil in the Wimbledon for US Olympians, 22,000. And then bronze, 600,000 plus. And then for yeah, bronze for the U.S. Olympians, 1,000. And then you look at the U.K. Olympians, zero prize money. Already, they're kind of showing your face like, hey, guys, I want you, you want to come over here and be enhanced? Run fast, jump high, throw far, jump long, whatever. Come on over here, we'll pay you to be enhanced and showcase your athletics enhanced. Yet, they haven't really showed you how much money they're going to pay you. I want to know what you guys think. Let's not be in denial. Right now, in all sports, there are a lot of athletes who are enhanced. Let me give you guys an idea. When I played football, in Canada, we only have an eight game season, regular game season, and then playoffs. So if you made it as far as you possibly could go, you only played around 11 to 12 games in the full season. At the end of that, I'm just, I'm beat. Now in the States, you guys gotta think of like 12 regular season games, and then you got bowl games, right? In the CFL, there's like 16 to 18 games. And in the NFL, there's there's 18 and 16 games plus like playoffs. You gotta understand, going through a game of football is equivalent to getting in a car accident head trauma legitimately. Like that's what it is. Week to week to week, you get your ass beat all day long. And you play a full season and you come back just as strong. And but there's wear and tear. Baseball players, back catchers might have the worst knees in most all sports just sitting down there the entire time. They're enhanced athletes in every single sport. I see this as interesting. I like to see how it actually goes, if it actually does happen itself. I don't know how you can legitimately sanction something like this, like the WADA, all the doping agencies. I can see something behind the scenes of like trying to stop this because again, when it comes down to it, the only reason why most organizations care about the athletes is because the athletes bring them money. And as soon as somebody else starts taking those athletes away, now they're gonna be like, ah oh, man, the safety of the athletes, I wanna make sure they're safe. They're not gonna be safe over the enhanced them. Now, I'm not biased. I've been a natural athlete before. I've taken steroids and I am off steroids now. I started doing steroids because I started bodybuilding. I wanna know what the sport is all about and I wanna level the playing field. And I was very curious on how strong I can get and all the things that steroids can and could and did do. But when it comes to this, it's like, why not? Why not just see how fast someone can actually be? If they actually have a team that's like, okay guys, look, this is all you actually need to bring your levels up to this so you can run faster. Or here's the drugs you should use if you want to get faster or if you want to run longer. Like, you know, does a long distance cross country runner need to have anabolics in terms of like, you know, test or winstrel or whatever? Probably not, but they would need maybe blood doping, right? Blood doping is an enhancement. What would it be like if a long distance runner could blood dope? They, what if they could take GW? I would want to see how far and how fast that person could run, right? When people think enhanced athletes are thinking, oh, they're just, they're just injecting halo and, and test and windstroll. They're thinking bodybuilders. Oh, this is all going to be good for me. I think Ben Johnson tested positive for windstroll. 
And like when it comes down to it, Winslow just dries you out. So I don't think a Winslow will be a good one to do in terms of like sprinting. I think it'll just be like a muscle pulling steroid all day long. If they're transparent, they're actually monitoring, I'd be extremely invested in watching this all unfold because again, we are curious. We are getting faster, we're getting stronger. Michael Jordan is absolutely the best of the best, but he's not as physically enhanced naturally as they are now because things have evolved. Every sport has evolved. The technology in terms of the equipment they use, why not monitor some of these athletes and see how far our athletic capabilities can actually go when they're enhanced and monitored. And you guys, if you don't like it, let me know. If you're cool, let me know. Let's just talk about it in the comment section below. And you guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and share. You know I'm gonna come out that telic. It is transparent, vulnerable truth. And for coaching, johnnyshreve.com. If you wanna know more about my coaching, guys, book yourself a one hour video console with myself. We chop it up, training, nutrition, supplementation, mental health, just me and you. And at the end of the consultation, I deduct 100 bucks off any package that you pick. Anyway guys, head over to johnnysheep.com for my free four or five day splits. My calf book is absolutely free. Head to my site right now or link in the description below. And till next time, you know how it is. Iron Shepherd's Iron, progressive bowl overload your life. In the meantime, keep dream chasing. Peace.